Hello everybody, Kanja here. Today we are going to be doing the, uh, we're going to be making a potato farm. We're going to go collect the water and we're going to go make the mob farm. So I've already gone and collected some wood as well as some dirt. And we are going to start off with actually putting all this stuff up. We're going to start off collecting the water. So obviously we need to do that before we can do any farming. So let's grab our iron right here. Should only need one block. Should be fine. There we go. It's always good to have extra buckets. I'll put that there. All right, and we should probably grab a sword just in case. All right, so we got a skeleton out in the daytime. That's not supposed to happen. So I've noticed that there aren't any day zombies anymore and I don't know what's up with that. But they're just not here. I uh, went out went out of town for a little bit and they weren't out there either. So I don't really know what's going on with that. The building's got some redstone lamps. I'm gonna try to get some of those later. Alright, the water was around here somewhere. And now it was by the other, by the contaminated water. Oh, there it is. And there's a day zombie. All right. Ah, die. So the uh, the description of the mod was saying something about water not being uh, infinite anymore, or they were wanting to implement that. I'm not sure which. So we're about to find out if that's a thing. All right, so infinite water is still still good to go. That's that's nice. Let's see. Uh, we'll wait, we'll wait. All right, so this is going to be our potato farm. See that skeleton still hanging around? I don't see him. Now we've got a cave spider spawner. Skeleton spawner, another skeleton spawner, three skeleton spawners, and I'm debating on if I want to do this at night or during the day. Obviously, during the day would be a hell of a lot easier, but as far as entertainment value goes, I think uh, watching me die a hundred times would also be kind of funny. So I'm not sure yet. Um, we'll see. We gotta go make a bunch of pistons, and uh, we'll take some blocks. I think we'll mess with the inside before we start messing with this outside at all. Um, I was also wandering around for a while, and there was there's no deserts here, um, so I don't know what to do about the glass. Um, I know you can't turn this stuff back into sand, or I would tear down all the buildings that were sandstone. But all right, let's uh, let's go ahead and go make those pistons. And if it's still daylight, it's still daylight, we'll come over here, tear up all this wood, place the dirt down, and we'll get all that going. Let's see how how do you make a piston? I think you need this and some of that, and I think you need regular stone. I think I used it all though. So let's grab some more cobble. there and you there you're out of coal uh, eight should be enough hopefully all right let's see how do you make a piston you just so it does not take stone it's actually uh, do I have any wood should I just went and chopped down a bunch of trees all right wood also take some iron all right so it's three wood a redstone oops whoops just a second here give me all the iron all right there there cobble and there we go all right I'm just gonna make one I need to go do some counting We'll make 
make the entrance here. Uh, I don't got time. I was gonna wait and get Silk Touch, but uh, we need the mob farm before we start enchanting. So it's not very wide, but it is really long. Uh, so let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it'll probably only be four wide. Let's go. Make three more pistons, and I need to eat. Uh, so we're going to get the potato farm going first while we're doing the mob farm. That way they have time to grow and duplicate. Um, those potatoes will then later on go to making a villager farm once we cure some zombie villagers. And I was making more pistons. There we go. So I said probably four total. I did that way wrong. All right, so there's our four pistons. All right, let's put all of our valuable stuff back up real quick before we end up losing all of it. And, oh, was there room for that? It was. Awesome. Put that up. Go ahead and grab a pickaxe out of here. Put up the wood and the buckets. All right, look. Let's go destroy those spawners. Yeah, right there. Is this brown clay? Black clay. Alright, cool. We'll probably tear up the roads eventually as well. That way we can uh maybe use the black clay in something and so we can also make the roads out of something a little better but at the same time usually I use brick for roads mixed in with some cobblestone some cracks and stuff like that but a lot of this is already pretty stony so we might try something else on that uh, let's go get an axe alright so we are going to make this trough here We'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I believe. Might have to go forward one more. Because I want the water to stop right at the edge of this, going this way. And I think they only go to seven. But we're going to find out. All right, now we're gonna place this dirt here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because we don't want the water to run into the trough, so it doesn't end up messing with the uh, the water flowing from here to here. Go ahead, dig that out. I hear a zombie pigman, but I don't see a zombie pigman. Maybe he's in there. Alright, well I'm just going to finish uh, clearing this out real quick and I'll be back. Alright, so now we're going to do a little bit of science. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks. Put the water there. Alrighty then. I don't know why I didn't expect that. Raw. Alright, let's try this again. Alright. Um. Hmm. Well, 
far is that dude? All right. All right. Well, we'll just uh, continue like we're doing, and we'll just kind of see how that that works. Alright, so it occurs to me that the current design that I'm going with uh, won't be 100% efficient. There's another one. Because uh, I need repeaters, and to get repeaters, you have to go into the nether, which I have not done, obviously. So, yeah, we're just going to have to kind of. I, I do need more. We, we use birch, change it up a little bit, but let's, uh, let's make sure that this water is on the right level. I think that's one too long. The water's not gonna reach over to this level. Which is fine, we can replace that with stone and make that our walkway. That way we don't trample any of our plants when we're jumping around. So we're not even gonna worry about tilling that up. Well, that happened fast. It always does. All right, so let's go ahead and put our potato, put our potato here. Um, the the system that I'm going to be using is automatically it automatically harvests, but it does not automatically plant. Oops, uh, you it doesn't automatically plant. So I think I should have probably let's do this. Um, actually, who? No. Sorry, I forget that the uh, pistons have to be extended. So the uh, extended pistons will hold these blocks. Oh no, I was right. No, I was wrong. All right, the extended pistons will hold the, this birch wood down, and then when I push the lever down at the bottom there, it'll raise them up and let the water flow down. All the all the uh, Harvest will collect down at the bottom of the trough, go into a hopper, and I'll put some chests down there. So let's go ahead and throw that there, move this across, put these pistons down. Uh, let's do that. There we go, remove these. So this will be where our redstone goes as well as where we put the uh, the walkway so we don't trample all of our crop here. All right, let's see. We need we need another hoe. Now we can finish up what we got going on over there.
looks like this video is running a little long. I don't think I'm going to be able to get to the mob spawner, but we are going to go have a little bit of fun, maybe explore one more of these buildings. Let's see what we can find. And I think we'll wait till nighttime. That way, uh, it's a bit of a challenge. Man, that food goes fast. We might see if we can find some seeds. We'll explore that one tonight. How about that? Yeah, just a little bit of time left. Alright. And why not? Well, looks like that little... Oh, well, I guess it's that, so... Alright. Let's go build some half slabs to throw over over that water there so we can walk across it. Um thinking stone? Why not? Can you even do stone half slabs? Yes you can. Sorry about that. Turn this one silent. All right, so let's go ahead and make We'll put that there. We'll make a button. Stick there. Now, I don't think the signal's going to transfer far enough to extend those pistons. I'm going to have to throw down something to uh, keep it, keep the pin and pistons extended, if I can talk. But uh, let's go ahead and throw everything in our chest here. And here. And we'll armor up. Alright, let's keep going. Alright, so we wanted to do that building, I do believe. Uh, I'm also going to have to throw some torches in here to light that up so the plants grow at night. Alright, let's do this. Already lots of noise. Well, let's clear. Let's go grab a pick. Ooh, those are loud. Let's go grab a pick and we'll destroy those spawners as we go as well. Can I already grab this? Yeah, alright, let's get rid of this. Maybe? Yeah, alright. Oh, I can't wait to build that mob farm. This thing's going crazy. Hopefully when I put in the water to wash them off the edge. Ooh, I'm going to have to rethink the spider part of that. Because if I was going to do, if I do what I was going to do, which was put the water on top of the spawners and get rid of the edges, they won't flow down. But if I get rid of too much of their spawn space, they also won't spawn as frequently. What did I come back for? Pickaxe. Uh, I think wood's okay, but we actually want to destroy these things before they start spawning again. So let's go and grab it. Grab this. Now we're not exactly doing awesome on iron, so here's hoping we don't lose everything. Uh, just uh, just go in there and coming back, activating that spawner gave them the chance to spawn quite a few of these guys. So this ought to be fun. All right, let's do it. Alright, they are upset. Ooh. Okay. 
All right, I didn't see that there. So we're gonna, can we come through this way? Yeah. Ooh, they're mad. All right. Ah, spam, spam, ha, huh? no. I hear zombies. Ah. All right, where's your spawner? Oh no, where's your spawner? True. Wow, wow, snap. Okay, apparently if you kill them all, they, uh, they stop being mad at you. That's good to know. I... Why am I taking so long to heal up? Alright, let's see. Where is your spawner? Why is this invisible? What is this? This stopped me last night. It was supposed to be a door. Alright. Where is this? Where's their spawner at? I don't know why the glass scared me, but it did. You stay away. Crap. Okay, they're not angry. I'm gonna keep them here. Ah, alright. Oh man, all right. You know what? You can have them. We'll go. We'll go up here. Whew! All right, got some iron, some buckets, more eggs, a dying skeleton. Let's get rid of that chest so we know. Man, what is? There's invisible doors here. Can they climb ladders? I don't think they can climb ladders, but if creepers learn how to climb ladders, I'm I'm quitting Minecraft. That's ridiculous. It's already hard enough to get away from the damn things. All right, let's try to figure this out. So there's there's the zombie spawner. All right, so they're hiding spawners in the walls now. Just get rid of that real quick. All right, we're gonna crouch, get our sword out. All right, we'll come back to that door. Do I need again? Now, from the outside, this looked like a pretty decently big building. Um, ooh, okay. If there's one thing I probably hate more than creepers, it's those those cave spiders. It'd be nice if we got some seeds, huh? I guess it's supposed to be like a fire escape or something. Wow. That looked like spider legs to me. Alright. Might be coming up against some of those. I'm glad I got that bread. Eat that. Ooh, we had some apples. Awesome. Didn't even see those. All right, let's uh, continue our way upward. If we can, we might it might be as far as we can go for now. We didn't bring anything to. I don't see a creeper spotter, but I do see a creeper, and that's worrisome. There might be one up there. Yeah, it's looking like that's as far as we can go here. We're just going to close that and back away slowly. Ah, there's two of them. Alright. What to do, what to do, what to do. Ah, oh, there's more. They lied to me. They tricked me. Die. Whew. Okay, there's a creeper spawner. No! No! <laughs> Whew! Oh, I can't reach it. Oh, no. Okay. Hmm. Okay, what? Hmm. 
maybe we can stick those down. Ha! Alright, now to just murder all these. No, nope, I'm doing it. Horrible idea. Even worse idea. Alright. Death from above. Alright, we have our first bow. Got a couple arrows in me. Ouch. Alright. Anyway, I think I'm going to head back to the base. That's all I've got time for for today. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Ah!